In a heart attack, in a conventional heart attack, one of the coronary arteries will become suddenly occluded, get blocked. And so in, there'll be no flow of oxygen to the heart muscle beyond that position. And what happens then depends on what the consequences of that lack of flow are. So it may be that it just stops contracting, in which case massaging will help you keep a circulation going until you do get some restoration of circulation. Or it can trigger a tachycardia or a ventricular fibrillation episode because it's, start, it's an abnormal current in that side. So then you do have to defibrillate, then you do have to resuscitate. But most of all, you need to be uh, given something to release the, uh, to stop the blood clotting in that blood vessel, an aspirin, get into a hospital as quickly as possible. So, so, you, so you would only have a go at um, the CPR um, if there was no breathing? No. If you have someone who's collapsed and has no evidence of a pulse, and usually that's associated with no breathing, but not always. But you're safer to try it. You're safer to do massage once you've kicked them and made sure there's no response. If you're doing that, it's, it's quite hard to do serious harm that way. It's much more likely that you'll keep them alive. I think, Denise, would you agree with that? Okay. Yeah. So you, your, um, your job is to keep... If, if you see someone in that position, first of all, make sure they're not going to stab you. Make sure they're safe. Um, then get help, somebody to call the ambulance, and, um, and then start the massage. And if you do nothing else but the massage, that's better than nothing. It's nice to check the airway and make sure there are no false teeth or vomit or anything in the way, but massage is really good.